Uh, let's go to the phones. Uh, 714. This is, <coughs> excuse me. This was the caller who, uh, who dropped, dropped before. <coughs> Jeez, I'm coughing up a storm. Here we go. Uh, 714, Hello? what's your name? You Where are you calling from? Yep, we can hear you now. This, this is uh, Mickey from Orange County. Uh, Mickey. Uh, can you speak a little bit louder? You're really uh, loud. How, can you hear me? Can you hear now me now? Is that better? Yes, per- much better. Yes. Okay. So, um, Mickey from Orange County, I called earlier regarding the uh, 28,000 of my fellow cast members who are going to be furloughed. Or, uh, I'm sorry, we're already furloughed. We're going to be uh, let go. Uh, you um, mean cast members? You're talking Disney, little, right? Uh, context on that. I'm sorry. You're talking, you're talking Disney because you said cast members and you're. Your name is Mickey, so I'm assuming that I'm speaking that, with that is correct. That is I'm speaking correct. with the mouse himself. Uh, go <laughs> no, well, ahead. not quite. I don't want to get <laughs> go, go ahead, buddy. No, I want to hear this actually because I've heard about this. It's very interesting. Go ahead. Okay, so um, just a little context for Disneyland because Florida has been going, um, and I guess they're opening up full steam uh, soon. Um, but uh, for Disneyland, we've been furloughed since March. Right. Um, and uh, just a month ago, uh, Disney executives uh, returned uh, their salaries returned to normal uh, pre-COVID levels. Um, and not to mention the uh, bailouts that Disney has received from the COVID bailout uh, that passed. Um, so they received billions of dollars um, and uh, they're furloughing 28,000 people. So great. Right. And this is as uh, they're reopening their 28,000 people. And this is as they're reopening their amusement parks, which means that the money is flowing in once again. Well, well, Disneyland is not open yet. Uh, Gavin Newsom has yet to provide guidelines for us to reopen. Um, but, I mean, our numbers are still really high, are pretty high. So I can see kind of why he's not doing that. Right. Um, not to mention that a lot of the local leadership here has dropped the ball. Um, the, the mayor, Harry Sadu of Anaheim, where Disneyland is located, um, has relied on the anti-mask uh, OC board of supervisors for advice. Um, so uh, there's just a lot of bad stuff going on here right now. Now, I actually, I actually had, I actually had looked into this because I found it very interesting. Because you know, I'm sort of a, uh, you know, I'm obviously very critical of Disney, but I'm also uh, got a history of enjoying the products they put out in terms of the movies and TV shows and things like that. You know, Marvel, Star Wars. Right. The, the Disney animated classics, but you know, obviously if they treat right. their we workers make magic, horribly, so that's yes, cool. yes. And I also am a big fan of the amusement parks. It truly is. A, you guys honestly make that experience for kids unlike anywhere else I've ever seen. And you know, they can't do that without you guys. So really kudos to you guys for doing that for, for kids. It really does, you know, mean something. And um, you know, I looked into this because Disney obviously makes a ton of money uh, from all the different uh, tentacles they're in, you know, their movies, TV shows, uh, uh, toys, uh, obviously their amusement parks. Right. And, you know, they're still yeah. making, it's, they're still full steam ahead on everything but the amusement parks. And when you right. look at the year to year revenue, I believe the most recent year to year comparison I saw was June 2019 to June 2020. They were in, they, they, they were up, they had made. Uh, they, they had made, I think, something like a couple billion dollars more than the year beforehand. And then to top that right. off, to top that off, though, when you looked at the previous quarter, now this was a quarter where I believe uh, Disney World was closed for either the majority or at least half of it. Because Disney World opened up, uh, what was it, right? right? Like right as the summer began, right when smartly right when yes. florida started seeing increase in covid cases that's when disney decided to open up disney world again right um, yeah so you know go crazy right so but but right as that is happening disney's third quarter ended i believe it was the third quarter and they came out with how much they lost from the amusement parks and get this with their overseas amusement parks open those amusement parks that were open were still bringing disney a profit at, I think it was like a 25% uh, uh, capacity rate because, you know, even though they're open in other countries, they still have to follow those guidelines where they can't open full capacity right. because obviously that's dangerous to do even in a, in a place that's safe to reopen. 
So they are still pulling in a profit. And to really make you understand this, that means they are able to pay off all the costs, all the people they hire at these amusement parks when the amusement parks are open. So these people that come in, work, and they pay for the food and all the logistics and all that, and still make money after paying all that at 25% capacity. So they are making a ton of money usually at 100%, which means they have more than enough money to pay you guys so you guys are healthy and safe and ready to go back to work when they can safely reopen for you. So the idea that they would lay you guys off... Go ahead. Yeah. Well, I mean, not only that, we've been furloughed for, for a month. So we ha- they, haven't pay- they paid us for like a month and a half, maybe, um, right. when COVID first started. And then, um, and then they're like, sorry, you guys, you have to figure out this system. And then, you know, tons of us had a, a, a really hard time dealing with the system here in California, which wasn't the greatest at first. It's gotten a lot better since, but it's still, you know, it's not great. Right. And, right. Uh, oh, and, and, and by the um, way, you know, you know how, not, you know to mention, how- not to mention that they've, they've They've also um, received billions of bailouts, right? From the from the, uh, um, right, and, and you know how and, you know how Donald uh, Trump at the debate said how uh, you know stock market goes up that means jobs. Remember he said that. Well, I looked at what yeah. Disney stocks are at, and in 2019, at this same time, it's only down. The stock's only down a couple of dollars. So a global pandemic right. that shut down an entire uh, an entire division the amusement park division of Disney wasn't enough to hurt them any more than a couple of bucks. Then when they were at full steam ahead with their movies, TV shows and amusement parks, pulling in uh, all the, the billions and billions of dollars it does. So for anyone who thinks, you know, right. Disney's been closed for all this time. So while I feel bad for Mickey on the phone here and the 20 other some odd thousand people who got <laughs> laid off, they need to, you know, tighten their bootstraps and, and, and make cuts so they could survive. No, no, that's not the case. They want to continue to make as much profit as possible. They have the money to pay these guys and still make profit. But, you know, they got to make the shareholders happy and they've got they've got uh, est- analyst estimates to hit. And they're not quite hitting that. I believe the analysts wanted them to make it the last quarter. They wanted them to make uh, $12.4 billion. And I think poor Disney only pulled in $11.8 billion last quarter during a global pandemic. Wow. So, ooh, sorry, yeah. guys. Practically starving over here. Yeah. So, Mickey, thank you for calling in. Uh, really appreciate it. One, one, no, go can, ahead. Can I just bring up one thing? Uh, one local thing, okay? Uh, so, and- uh, uh, you're, you're trailing off a bit. Can you get back on the mic? You're, you're trailing oh, I, off I just wanted bit. to say the city of Anaheim decided to give uh, $6.5 million to, uh, to a group, to a tourism group to advertise Disney, Disney for Disney during the closure. So instead, they, uh, we learned that the group that that much in time may have shipped up a substantial portion of those money. And mm, you're, you're you're cutting out again, buddy. I'm sorry. You're you're, you're cutting out. I'm I, we can't hear you. Uh, can you can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Stay exactly Is where you better? are and, and go. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so, um, the city of Anaheim has given uh, a group, a tourism group, Visit Anaheim, which is connected to Disney, uh, six point five million dollars. Uh, we've learned they uh, chipmunked that money away, a uh, substantial fortune. And instead, um, our city council has been trying, or the Anaheim City Council has been trying to get those funds for uh, laid off Disney cast members, but instead it's gone to a Disney tourism group. So I just wanted to add that last little part back in. Wow. Unbelievable. For, for a Disney tourism group that can't even uh, uh, advertise to people go to Disney because it's closed in uh, California right now. Correct. Unbelievable. Um, so they can't even argue that that money's going into getting those workers back so we could get people in there. So we need the workers back. And they can't even argue that. Unbelievable. You know, thanks uh, for calling in, though. Really forgive appreciate me. It. I sorry. I just wanted to ask what might be a dumb question. Do you guys have a union? Sure. Yes, I am. I am one of the very lucky uh, cast members um, to be. And we actually have a, a pretty uh, several unions uh, out here. And we're all uh, we all actually banded together last. Uh, in 2018 to get a living wage initiative passed in the city of Anaheim. Um, 
And uh, Bernie actually was a big, uh, harkening back to your Bernie clip earlier, he was a big help. He actually held a rally for us here. And um, last year, we all negotiated really good contracts. All negotiated really good contracts. Every union was at least 15 or higher. Um, and um, now we're furloughed and a lot of us are going to get let go. So. What, what, what's like what's in place? Day, does, does the, what does the union have in place for people who are let go? Are you guys going to be okay for a little bit? Do you have a little leeway? Do you get some sort of living? Um, I, well, well, they definitely, there's a way to get the contract for them to furlough. So right now, we're not sure exactly how many of us are going to get let go yet. Um, the non, uh, the non, uh, the salary cast members and, uh, you know, other cast members who are protected by unions, union, um, they've already started called um but um the union themselves they're a little confused because they're you know each contract is different especially in regards to layoff so all right got it thank you so much for the call mickey really appreciate it good luck with everything i uh, hope it works out thank you yeah. uh, i just want to say i love you guys and i've listened to you since forever since uh, sam was on here and uh keep up the great work you guys are all awesome oh, uh really appreciate I'd sign you all in disneyland if i could <laughs> Take it easy, guys. Thank you. Take care. You too.